Good morning, everybody. I have some questions for you. Have you ever had someone break something that belongs to you or tell something about you that wasn't true or cheat at a game that you were playing together? How did that make you feel? Did they say they were sorry and ask you to forgive them? Did you forgive them? Or have you ever been the one who broke something or didn't tell the truth about somebody or cheated at a game? Did you ask for forgiveness? Did they forgive you? Today, in our Superbook Bible Adventure, we meet twin brothers named Esau and Jacob. It's found in the Old Testament book of the Bible, Genesis, in chapters 25 to 33. Now, last week we learned that Abraham's faith in God was tested by his willingness to sacrifice his son Isaac. Because Abraham had been willing to do so, God stopped him and provided a ram for the sacrifice instead. God told Abraham in Genesis 22:17, I will surely bless you and make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and as the sand on the seashore. And through your offspring, all nations on earth will be blessed because you have obeyed me. This week, we find out that Abraham's son, Isaac, married Rebekah. Their twin sons, Esau and Jacob, are very different and very competitive, and for good reason. In Genesis 25, 28, it says, Isaac loved Esau and Rebekah loved Jacob. In our adventure today, we will discover which brother will receive the blessing and how they are divided and separated from each other and then reconciled and find forgiveness. We'll also discover through how through one of the brothers would come the nation of Israel, fulfilling what the Lord had told their mother, Rebecca in Genesis 25, 23, Two nations are in your womb, and two people from within you will be separated. One people will be stronger than the other, and the older will serve the younger. In the New Testament book of Colossians 3.13, it says, Bear with each other, and forgive whatever grievances you may have against one another. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. Let's pray. Dear God, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you once again that we can come before you through Jesus, that we can come in worship in spirit and in truth. And we just thank you again, once again, for your incredible love for you that you have for us and how you have given us forgiveness through Jesus Christ. We just ask you to bless and be with it, each and every one of um, us here today and that you would uh, lead and guide us. And we know that you go wherever we are when we trust in you. And we thank you so much for that. We just praise you, Lord, today in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, in Genesis 28, 15, the Lord said to Jacob, Your descendants will be like the dust of the earth, and you will spread out to the west and to the east and to the north and to the south. All peoples on earth will be blessed through you and your offspring. I am with you and you will watch over you wherever you go and I will bring you back to this land. I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. Can you sing with me? Have I not commanded you be strong and courageous? Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Wherever you go. Have I not commanded you be strong and courageous? Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go, 
wherever you go, wherever you go, wherever you go. Remember, Jesus loves you and so do I. May God bless and keep you until we meet again.